Owners of an old looking building in St. Augustine want to demolish it, but the city is saying not so fast. Research is being done to determine if it is indeed historic. I spoke with the property owner's architect today to see what's really there and what is proposed for that location. On or near St. George Street in downtown St. Augustine, you'll see street performers, pirates, a whole lot of tourists, and this building. The house starts where that, those steps are in the back. The new owners from Connecticut are asking the city of St. Augustine for permission to demolish it and build a retail mall there, like this one they already have on St. George Street, a little further south. Instead of looking like this, it would look like this. But there is more than one building to deal with. The beige and brown one sits on busy St. George Street. The owners want to knock that one down. But here in the back is a blue and white house. The owners don't want to tear it down because it is historic and they want to turn it into a cafe. The city will not grant permission to demolish the beige building if it's determined to be a historic landmark. We don't feel that there is. Don Critchlow, the owner's architect, says the original building was a house and dates to the 1890s. But you can't see that part anymore. That's because in the 1960s, the city was reconstructing buildings on this part of St. George Street to... To make them look colonial. And this beige and brown house did not look colonial then. So the city approached the homeowner. They asked him, say, listen, you need to do something or we're going to take, take your house by eminent domain. And he said, okay, I'll do something. And so the homeowner remodeled the house in the 1960s to look colonial. That's where it's been since somewhere in the mid, the mid 60s. Critchlow and his clients argue that the beige building can be demolished and that it's not historic. Because it's been so impacted and modified, it's been remodeled so bad that there is nothing of the original historic elements or fabric of the building left. So, as the city researches to see if this humble building on this unique road is historic, the activity continues on historic St. George Street.